Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a heart shape vignette in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by clicking on window in the top menu, then choose shapes. Make sure legacy shapes is visible. If not, click on the hamburger menu and choose legacy shapes and more. Next, duplicate your background layer and activate the quick selection tool in the toolbar. Hit select subject in the options bar, then use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection to just include the female model. Click on the add layer mask button and rename the layer to female model. Now create a brand new layer and rename it to vignette. Activate the custom shapes tool in the toolbar. In the options bar, select path from the dropdown and choose a heart shape from the legacy default shapes dropdown. Hold the shift key and draw a heart shaped path in the center of the image. Use the path selection tool in the toolbar to transform and scale the path as necessary. Click on the paths tab and hold the control or command key and click on the paths thumbnail. Now go back to the layers tab, then click on select in the top menu and choose inverse. Click on edit in the top menu, then choose fill. Select color from the contents dropdown and pick a color as per your liking. Use the control or command D shortcut to deselect the current selection, then right click on the vignette layer and convert to smart object. So we can apply some filters. Go to filter in the top menu, then choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Pick a radius value of around 50 pixels and then hit OK to exit. Drag the female model layer above the vignette layer and then select the vignette layer. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose hue slash saturation. Click on the clip button and play around with the hue, saturation and lightness sliders to tweak the color as necessary. Activate the crop tool from the toolbar, then select W by H by resolution from the dropdown. Click on the clear button and then bring the handles in to crop the image as per your liking. Click on the tick button to commit your changes. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.